everybody welcome back to my channel it's the only with thrifty divas and i'm here with another dollar tree haul for everybody so it is separated into categories again as usual and i am just going to jump right in it's snowing outside i don't know if you can see it but i was like what i wasn't expecting it but anyway the first category i'm going to start with is housewares and if this is your first time tuning in to me housewares for me means everything from decoration to cleaning supplies to anything used inside the home and this time of year outside the home as well i have added to it so let me jump right into that category the first thing i picked up i know it's not a good deal i know it I know it. I usually buy all of my velvet hangers from Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they have the best prices on the big packs, but I was desperate. So I got five of the two packs of velvet hangers by Essentials because uh, I don't know how, but I don't have enough hangers right now. I'm always buying hangers because I'm always buying clothes. That's what happens. It's okay. Um, so I picked those up. Then I know you've seen these before, but I finally caved in and got them. So these are these glass jars with a dark, dark brown, I think. I don't think it's black. I don't know, but it's a plastic top. And the best part is, like you just saw, they are stackable, so they take up less room. Now I got, hmm, very different. Interesting. This stacks way crazy looser than this one does. This one is nice and tight. That is odd. Huh. Give that a check when you buy them. But I bought these for uh, chia seeds and flaxseed to have on my counter like that. I'm so excited about that. And I, ha I went through like four different types of jars in the store. To, and then finally I just decided on those. I was like, man, I won't go for looks. I'll go for practicality. So I got that. Then I picked up just one of these glasses that says happiness is homemade. I got this for, if you saw my blessings by mail video, Andrea sent me the red and black Buffalo check straws, which I never thought would ever happen. So I just thought I'd put them in here and like on the table or something like, I don't know, but that's what I got this for. I thought they would look cute in that and the size is perfect. Then I picked up one of these serrated shears in the purple by Floral Garden to keep up here because my other one, all of my clipper type stuff is downstairs with the craft stuff, so it's not very convenient. Then I picked up by Cooking Concepts this electric timer. Now I have one of these already in my son's calming corner, but the reason why I picked this one up, you know, everything has a story. The reason why I picked this one up is because I was contemplating getting my son a potty watch if you've ever heard of those it's a it's a watch that the child can wear and you set it for 20 or 30 minutes or it might be preset to 30 i don't know um and then it either vibrates or makes a noise they all have different reviews so i wanted to get one for my son because what happens is he's fully potty trained but he gets so wrapped up in playing and enjoying what he's doing that he puts the potty on the back burner and you know so to force him to go, I was thinking that, but then my husband was like, uh, I could picture him taking it off or unsetting it somehow. Or so he's like, why don't you just get another timer? So that's what this specific one is going to be for. I'm going to set it for 30 minutes and just keep doing it all day long till he doesn't get preoccupied by playing. Hopefully that's the plan. So that's what that's for. And then I picked up this simple white plastic cutting board by cooking concepts got to give my husband what he likes um <laughs> my husband is i laugh at him but hey i'm sure there's a lot of people like him he needs a cutting board for absolutely everything i've never seen anything like it in my life the man takes out a cutting board to peel an orange I, okay that's you know it is what it is um but so he likes to be able to have something. We don't have anything like this is, is the bottom line. So I think he'll really like that. I got him that then. What else did I just see? Uh, oh, and then 
Can you believe I never bought one of these? So this is the Sure Fresh Lunch Storage Tower, PBA free. I got this for my son for snacks. I got it in the gray. I think he'll really, really like that. And I saw it on Vivian Tries. I love Vivian Tries, by the way. But I saw on Vivian Tries, she actually put like, <laughs> she put wine in here and um, actually turned it around and nothing leaked. That was absolutely crazy. But anyway, so once she, I was like, I should really get that for my son. I'm not gonna put a drink in there, but I thought it would be super cute. Could put like hummus in there and then like his little baby pitas, the little mini pitas. I love it when Aldi has those and then like carrot sticks on the other side. Something, it's just awesome. So I finally got one of those, got that then. For outside, I've, I'm have i gonna try this. So my mom yells at me all the time because I'll start seeds outside and she's like, it doesn't work that way, Fiona. Like I know nothing and I keep trying and killing everything, but whatever. So I got two of these American seed, seed starting greenhouses. You just get the black thing with the clear dome. It almost seems like a, a, a jip for a dollar, but I don't know. And also by American Seed, I got these 12 packs of seed starters and they're the biodegradable ones. I'm assuming you put them in the ground like this. Yeah, plant, pot and all outdoors after the last frost. So that's cool. I think that might work well for me. And speaking of seeds, I figured I would give these a try. I actually got three of these. These are the Buzzy Strawberry Grow Kits. Never even attempted to grow strawberries before, but I know that they spread like wildfire. That much I know, so I'll have to be careful with that. Like they're going to take off and be amazing, but just saying. All right, so that's that. Then... I picked up a few more of my favorite bags on earth. The Glad Gain and Febreze 30 gallon bonus. Get six instead of four. Oh God, they're so good. They're so good. And then I got two of these to have for my office. I had one, long story. I had the worst luck with internet and phone at my office and they've had to come like 10 times and they gave me a new router and they gave me a new modem and they gave me another new router and then they and every single time I had to change the password on my sign and I didn't use chalk I used a white marker so the first time I took it off with alcohol and I started taking off the black then I rewrote it and sure enough they came back and I had a new password and I was gonna paint it with chalk paint and I was like no, I'm done. I'm done. So, so I, I picked this design, which just says, hello, welcome. Wi-Fi password is, and they did have several different designs and I do have footage of it. So maybe if this video is a reasonable length, I'll put everything at the end. And I just got two of the same ones to have a backup. And I think this is better anyway. The other one's heart shaped and it's like, eh, I don't really like it. So I'm a big fan of that one. Then I got these because I got a new piece of furniture in my kitchen. So I've got four of these to just organize the drawers, you know. And this was the first time I've ever seen this in real life, believe it or not, at a Dollar Tree. This is by Essentials. This is the dish rack. Never, ever, ever seen it at one of my Dollar Trees ever. I've seen the flat one with the legs and I've seen the like riser one, like the stadium seating one, but never the dish rack. So I got several. Um, I got five. I need four for inside my desk at work instead of putting hanging file folders there because that's not really what I want there. I have a huge file cabinet for that stuff. This is like forms and things that I need to grab quickly. And so I want these in there and this will avoid me needing the green hanging folders for those deep file drawers. I brought one from home 
and put it in my drawer and I thought I was brilliant, but I didn't realize that it was like graduated. So like the first two levels would have been fine, but then it went too high up for the drawer. So I needed a flat one and these are those. And then I got one extra one for my mom for sheet pans. That works great. And she said she had one, but it kept moving back. So I told her I'm gonna put that super glue permanent tape that holds up to 20 pounds, that crazy, crazy stuff. I'll put that on this inside her cabinet. I mean, I built her a table with that stuff. It's crazy. So we're gonna use that and it won't go anywhere. I think that is it. Let me just scan housewares. Yes, so let me do a few quick pet things. It's two things. So I showed these in a walkthrough and then I never got it. And then I saw them again. I'm like, I need to get Henny one. So I got Henny a gray squirrel. Uh, it's a squeaker toy. I'm not going to do it because she's somewhere right here and she'll go crazy. But I picked the gray one. They have brown and tan also, but I got gray. I keep it really realistic. I don't know. Then I got these to send to friends that I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree. So th these are Temptations mix-ups, but they're called, <laughs> they're catnip fever and it's chicken catnip and cheddar flavors. So I'm putting one each in packages I have that I'm sending to friends with cats. I thought that was crazy. Never seen that before. All right. So that's it for pets. Told you it was like nothing. And holiday is also pretty much nothing, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I got two packs of the Easter color your own ornaments, which I'm not coloring. They're eight pieces each. I got the carrots and I got the bunnies. And I'm just going to put that on a long length of um, jute rope and make banners. I did it all for, for Valentine's Day and I, I'm loving it. So I got that. Then I picked up another. This is my second one of this glittered drape. They have it in the Easter stuff and they have pink, yellow, and green. But I got the pink to use as a skirt for my little baby mini tree that I'm doing for the holidays. It's probably way too big. I'll probably have to cut it. But I needed something to hide the base. And the last thing in holiday as well, I picked up this 48 piece Batman Valentine's. I didn't get them for the Valentine's though. What I did get them for was I noticed it says 24 tattoos. So you get, it's 48 pieces. You get 24 Valentine's and 24 tattoos. I think my son is going to love it. I see he's into superheroes now, I told you. So... These are what the Valentines look like, which are pretty cool, but this is the cool part. So that is, I'll show you in a second, honey. So that's the tattoo part. And I think he's going to love it. They are tattoos. Yeah. So I figured for a, a dollar for like, brand like you know licensed Mom, tattoos that was pretty good here you go don't mess with the tattoos though because you'll mess them up wait for me and we can do them okay all right so now let's move on to something else so i'm gonna move on to books and one movie so let me show you the movie first i picked up this i actually i got this for william patty's son over at patty's chance holes and more this is a two movie collection it's batman assault on arkham i don't know and suicide squad extended cut um oh wait no that's the digital hd movie watch it tonight voodoo voodoo, voodoo? i don't know i don't know what's happening wait but it says Oh, I think this is, so you get a digital copy of Suicide Squad and then Batman on, Batman Assaults on Arkham on Blu-ray. So I just picked that up. Um, PG-13. Then that's it. Books. I got two of these because I thought these were so adorable. Uh, this retailed for $10 US. I can see through the sticker. It's these tiny little books called Be Happy. So these like, you know, just really nice 
feeling books called Be Happy. And they just have little happy things in it. I love it. I love that. And I think we could all use a little, you know, a little. So I got two of those. Um, then this book I fell in love with as well. Oh, I wish they had more. It feels so nice. I can't even explain it to you. It's this soft, soft canvas and it's two-toned all across the back. Let me see. I should be able to get the sticker off of this one. Oop, I got all the stickers off of it. <laughs> $14. US it was. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it says how to set a table. And it is just absolutely, oh, the rules for entertaining have relaxed, but we still want to know where to place the forks and glasses with classic etiquette advice and great hacks for last minute get togethers. How to set a table turns any day into an opportunity to pack the picnic basket for a birthday in the park. Fill a pretty salad bowl with ice to chill a bottle of wine or plan a serve yourself coffee bar for early risers and late sleepers. Whether you have a complete set of china or vintage flea market treasures, chips, cracks and all, you'll have endless inspiration for how to set the table. Also available as an ebook, it says. But, oh, I just love that. Holiday breakfast, wine and cheese, festive touches. I just had to. And like I said, I wish they had more, but they only had one. That would be such a great addition to a gift. Then I got this for myself. In a hyperkinetic future, the ultimate act of rebellion is slowing down. Decelerate blue. I just, it's a graphic novel. So I love graphic novels. And I just thought that would be a really nice read. That retailed for $17.99 US. And then I got this for my son. This is imported by Greenbrier. Lucky Needs Help. And it says a story with moral values. This looks like a great bedtime book. I think he's going to love that. So I just got that. Then I found some more of the really super nice ones. Um, this one retailed for 15 US. Daddy sat on a duck. <laughs> Contents are 100% humane, hilarious, and odor free. I don't know. I don't know, but it looks awesome, and I think my son's gonna love this one. Is <laughs> why is that man in his underwear? I don't know, but it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> then this one is called Daydreaming, retailed for seventeen ninety nine US. Book of little words, but it looks fun. Then I got this to send to a friend of mine that I'm putting together a big package for, and she doesn't know anything about it, but it'll be fun. This is called Handmade Nation, The Rise of DIY Art, Craft, and Design. I thought that was really cool. So I think it's just like, it's people's stories and like how they got into craft, it looks like, and I don't know but it looks really fun. And I'm just gonna send that to her in a, in a big box I'm making her. And the last book, I had to get this. I mean, the movie's awesome. I'm not like a crazy fanatic or anything, but I had to have this. $40 US, this is Disney Pixar, The Art of Cars 2. It's like very specific, but this is just amazing. Really cool stuff. I mean, for a dollar, this is insanity. So I had to get that. That's a just a great book to have in the collection later on in my son's life, whatever. But all right, so that is all the books and the one movie. Like the 
next category I'm going to move on to is apparel and it's very quick. I only have a couple of items in there and I'm not going to bore you to tears, but I got 15. It's 15 shirts. Amazing. All for my son, some for now, some for down the road. Summer t-shirts, summer long sleeve, some really nice thick cotton, some are brand name, um, some are this, that silky like breathable material I told you about in my last haul, really, really cool stuff, A4, A4.com, I don't know what that is, so I got a few of those in long sleeve, the, the, those silky breathable ones, and then t-shirts, and long sleeve and black I love. So this is one of those silky ones. Got him a green one for St. Patrick's Day. And then I got him a neon silky one like that. And then a neon t-shirt. But anyway, 15, 15, a dollar each, man. I can't, thank you, Dollar Tree. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, and then I wanted these forever. <laughs> I thought we'd never get them. This is the drawstring bag. It's a drawstring backpack, and it is plastic on one side and mesh on the other. Super cool. They had different colors. They had black mesh, they had white mesh, and but I wanted black, so I picked up two of those. I, I'm so excited. Like I'm just thinking in the future for like travel or water parks or you know, you know when everything gets back to normal. Then I picked this up. Um, for myself just to undo it and use the ribbon because I think this is amazing. It's a hair bow and this has ice cream and donuts and wow and pug life on it with oops with the pugs on it and it's one a large alligator clip. But again, I just got that for the ribbon. I thought that would be really cute on a present or something. I love it. And then this one I got to put in a package to send to my friend. So this is just the pug. And these are by Royal Deluxe Accessories. Okay, I should start keeping things separate for her package. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the next category. Next category is gonna be food. Not too many items, but I figured let me show you. So I bought two boxes of this Golden Foods Raisin Bran, eight ounce boxes. Then I got a couple packs of these for the boys. These are three count General Mills Cocoa Puffs cereal bars. Is there an expiration? I can't see it. What if, oh, there it is. Nope, that's where it's supposed to be. Best if used by nothing, but whatever. All right, got those. I picked up two of these, four packs of one ounce bags of little mini Keebler Chip Deluxe Rainbow cookies. I got two more of the outrageous one pound bags of quick one minute oats. I got two more of the Nature's Garden Powered by Plants Tropical Fruit Mix. Good until October of this year. And um, I like to actually, in addition to just giving these to my son to snack on and stuff, I like to put these in overnight oats. It's quite delicious. So multi-purpose. Then as I was leaving to go to Dollar Tree, my husband and my son were snacking away. And my husband held up a bag of these and said, where'd you get these from? So when I told him, where I'm going now. And he's like, what, Dollar Tree? So he asked me to pick up more for him, and I did. These good health veggie straws. I bought them for my son, mind you, if you saw when I hauled them the first time. Well, my son, my husband ate 
the majority of it, which he eats most of my son's snacks. So I picked up uh, three more bags of these. Hopefully that'll last a couple of days. Now that he knows we have more, it'll give him a reason to eat more of them. Does that, you know how that works anyway? Okay. Then I picked up one of these. I, I, I get these often, um, usually for like little events and stuff. They're so delicious. Jennifer's Garden Spring Rolls. You get 10 uh, artificial, uh, no artificial ingredients, all natural, 55 calories a roll. So it says microwave, bake, or fry. Of course, you can air fry them as well. I actually <laughs> serve these with duck sauce. If you have leftover duck sauce packets from Chinese food, I always put the packets in a little bowl like next to these and let people go do their own thing. It's awesome. So I'm starting to get a thing here and there for Super Bowl. Trying not to go crazy, although that's what my instinct wants me to do, but it's only my parents and me and my husband and my son, so, and my mom is a vegetarian, so anyway, um, but those spring rolls, she, I've made them before, she loves them, so then I got this, I'm going to give this to my mom and my stepfather, these, I showed them in a walkthrough, the Polar 5-ounce cans of mussels in water, and they are a product of China, but I thought they might want to do like a, like a Fra Diablo sauce with that maybe for pasta. I don't know. Um, all right. So that is food. Let's move on. Rock and roll. The perfect segue from our last category of food into our next category, which is going to be toys is this. So it is a sloth chupa chup lollipop holder, and it has a Mm, it had watermelon the first time and now it has cherry. So let me tell you about this. <laughs> I sent my friends Melissa, Michelle, and Macy over at M&M's Halls and More a huge package full of fantastic things that were ordered from all over the place and purchased from all different places. There was really nothing Dollar Tree in there, um, like one or two things. Well, when it arrived, uh, Melissa messaged me and she said, well, they started opening it. Melissa messaged me and she said, look, this letter was in there. So there's a letter. I'm sorry. It's going to be a long story. So there was a letter in there and it was from the Atlanta post office saying that the package became unsecured during shipment and they had to do whatever they did, blah, 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 blah. If there's any problems, write to this PO box in Atlanta, which was for like, you know, the, the post office with a detailed description and brand and blah, blah, blah of everything that's missing. So she shows me the picture. I'm like, whatever, we'll see. Because I feel like things like that have happened before where there was nothing, nothing, nothing was missing. Nothing was wrong. Right. So I see them doing their friend mail video. And I'm the first thing I saw the length before I even watched the video. I saw the length of the video. I'm like, that's odd. That's impressive. If they got through all that stuff that quickly guys, more than half, I say 80% of what I sent them was not in that box. To make matters worse, when Melissa went and checked at her post office in Texas, she was told the box never even went to Atlanta. The box went directly from New York to Texas. So I feel like that's some type of crazy scam where they like ripped the box open, stole all my stuff that I sent her. And yeah, yeah. And there's no point in writing a letter now to Atlanta because it never even went to Atlanta. Crazy. Anyway, this was in there for Macy with a watermelon lollipop. And she loves a watermelon. And now, damn it, this one's cherry. However, uh, I it took me about... <laughs> I told Melissa, she's like, what are you doing? It took me about 15 stores to find this again. And then it was principal and I was on a mission. So I got this and this will be sent to Macy again. So that's the perfect transition, I think, from food to toys because it's both. And now let's move on to full toys. All right. So I got this for my TV and movie figures wall. And it is this Oh my gosh, the reflection is terrible. There you go. It is the Flintstones car and the collection is screen time, Hot Wheels, Flintstones, and it says four of 10 on there. I found one other one and I think it was the, um, oh my gosh, I can't even remember the show right now. 
oh my gosh uh, I can't remember but I saw the car it was from like Dukes of Hazard. I feel like it was that car but I just got the Flintstone one because I think that's absolutely awesome so that's going on the wall unopened and then I got this this <laughs> ice cream truck what? and uh, I think I'm gonna put this in my fairy garden with the ice cream and sweet stuff mm -hmm. yeah and then I got this to put in a package for another friend that I've been waiting because I felt like I didn't have anything for her for her son. I, I can't always find stuff for her daughter, no problem. And I'm a mom of, of a boy, right? But I can always find stuff for her daughter, but I always have a hard time for her son. So I found this. I'm going to send this in the package to her son. This is Hot Wheels as well. Uh, special feature. See back for details. I don't know. Anyway, best for track ride-ons aisle driver so it's a supermarket cart but then look it shows do you see i don't know can you like fly him off of there i don't know but i thought that was fun i think her son will love that and then i got this for uh my son it may or may not go to him it might go on the wall not sure this is the bat copter and uh specifically batman i saw will from lisa and will's halls show like all types of Batmobiles, and I'm like, what? So I got to be on the lookout for that, but that's the Batcopter. Uh, and I think that's it on the cars. Then I got this uh, John Cena figure. I have one of these on my movie and TV wall. So I got John Cena for uh, Patty's son, William. I don't know if he has it, but whatever. He can share the wealth um then i got these that i'm putting in a package for my friend if she's watching she'll know who it is but anyway they had like four different types of minis i swear but i picked out these two minis they're keychains they had cuckoo loca too and i don't remember but i got the the um purple one with the pink dress and the like um fuchsia one with the red dress the classic one i was like let me not get her all four because i mean do you need four whatever i could have anyway. then i showed these in a walkthrough too and i decided to get these these are these little like they're usually like blind bowls but by arcade this is space sabers and on the box, it said inflates to over 15 inches. And I showed them in the walkthrough and I loved them because they're glittery. How cool is that? So I got two because if you have a saber by yourself, what's the point, right? So I got two of those so we can mess around in the house. Then I found this puzzle for my son. It's a 48 piece Batman puzzle. Baby face. Yeah. What's that guy? Clay something? Clay face. Clay face? Mm -hmm. I think that's him. Anyway, so I got that for him. Got you a puzzle. <laughs> you, mommy. You're welcome, baby face. Then, long story. So I got my son this for Christmas and he opened it up the other night and he loved it. I didn't know he would like it that much, but he loved it. And then he broke it <laughs> like the next day. The rubber band on the back, there's a rubber band for the tension um, of the bar and it, the piece that the rubber band goes up here broke and whatever. So he was very upset. He's like, can you please try to find me another one? So it took me four stores and I finally found them. I got two, I got two more just in case. Um, so yeah, but he loved it. He, I didn't think that that was going to be such a big hit, but it was. Uh, so yes, that's the story behind that. All right, let's move on to the next category. Next category is going to be health and beauty aids. So let's jump right in. Uh, first thing I picked up was this. Now they came out with a new scent of Axe. Axe Dark Temptation. So I got the first Axe the first time and... First time, first person I saw a haul, the first one was Melissa Michelle over at Eminem's Holes and More. First person I saw a haul, the second one was them again. And I was like, just, I just found the 
first one and I'm like, this is going to take forever. But luckily, I found it pretty soon. Ooh, that smells nice. Oh my. Okay. So I got these to pair with the first one. You can wrap it nicely, add it to a men's gift. Um, and then speaking of men's gifts, this Freeman, I showed these in a walkthrough as well. Freeman's two-piece men's masking kit comes with volcanic ash peel-off gel mask and marine algae clay mask in this adorbs net bag. And there are two tubes in there. So I did pick up two of those. Again, men's gift packs, Father's Day. Uh, all right, what next, what next? So at one store, I have also seen Cappuccino since, which I believe is even darker than this one. This is Nut Brown C7, and I believe Cappuccino is C8. Um, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation Gentle Mineral Makeup. And uh, somebody had mentioned it in the comments too. They're like, could you have used it as a like a contour or and I'm like, Dur -dur, or a bronzer or something, right? So I was like, yes, let me get it because I may never find anything lighter. So I got the Nut Brown C7. And then at another store, uh, I believe this was Lake Grove, um, I found uh, N6, which is Honey Beige. And I don't know. I have no idea. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I just, I was happy to find something remotely lighter. So we shall see. Let me see if I can open it. Gosh, that sticker's tight. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's got the holes inside. Not doing too well here, okay. There's so many shadows. I mean, that's that's not that bad at all. And that's definitely summer, you know, with a tan. So, yeah, cool. There's a lot going on. A lot of pieces to this. <laughs> okay. I picked up just one of these L'Oreal Hair Expert Extraordinary Clay, Dry Shampoo, Clay and a Spray, Three Refined Clays, No Visible Residue, Normal to Oily Hair, Four Ounces. Got this to send to a friend. Then, uh, next, I found this by Sunday Rain brightening body serum watermelon and mint with watermelon extracts so that is going to a friend as well one of those oh that smells absolutely delicious made in china wow yeah, just put all over you basically is the instructions. Shows a picture of them dropping it and rubbing it all over their body. So I got those beautiful glass bottle and glass dropper. Then I got some of the new pink sleep masks. So I got two of the Namaste and Bad ones. I love them. They're very, very pale pink. I don't know if it's picking up for gifts and then I got this one as a gift as well this is the wake me up for wine now I don't drink so I don't like I don't get the punniness but um 
So I wasn't going to get it. But then I was thinking of everything I've been gathering. And I got the wine stoppers. I got the red wine face mask. And there was something else. There was something else to put together as like a wine gift package so i thought this would be perfect to add to that wine gift package so that's why i got that one then i got some masks the garnier skin active this one is uh aqua boost fresh mix sheet mask freshly mixed by you so you mix it and then like wet your sheet mask and then put your sheet mask on it's a 15 minute mask so this one bouncier smoother more hydrated skin and then they had this one glow boost same thing mix up your own sheet mask brighter energized more radiant skin and then I got a couple of the Bolero alcohol-free cleansing wipes. I got, for the body, citrus and sea salt and eucalyptus and cedar. I thought this would be good for, like, my son and hubs, these two scents. I didn't want to get the... Oh, my gosh. What? Citrus and sea salt? It kind of smells like coconut, but it's, it smells really good. And eucalyptus and cedar. Oh, that smells very nice and clean and fresh. These smell great. Mild, but great. So I got those two. I'm very happy with my choices. And then I picked up this uh, mini two-pack of lip balms to send to a friend. I got both of these, these are both repurchases at some point or another, but I got both of these brushes to put in a package to a friend as well. So they have the two different types of bristles. And then I finally found the tea tree stuff. So I got a full set, there's four items for my mom um, or for anybody's gift, put it in a nice organza gift bag. Um, but I just got these three for me. So I got the tea tree night lotion, one fluid ounce. Made in China, distributed by Greenbrier. The tea tree oil third of an ounce and the tea tree facial oil one fluid ounce they're all ideal for blemished skin and the one i did not get for me but i got all four like i said for my mom is the tea tree clay mask and that's 1.8 fluid ounces oh that looks nice that looks very nice oh wow 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 Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells so mild and beautiful. All right, yeah, so that's a very nice set. Those four items in a nice little organza bag is gonna be beautiful. Okay. Uh, then the very last, I believe, yep, very last health and, well, no, second to last. Uh, second to last health and beauty aid item. I was so happy to find this. This is the Dr. Sheffield's since 1850 inventor of toothpaste and toothpaste in a tube. It says Washington Sheffield certified natural toothpaste fluoride free. And this is sensitive care relieves sensitivity. I'm sorry. Relieve sensitive teeth by building protection around the nerve. New London, Connecticut, USA. I'm so excited. So, so excited. So let's see, got several of these. 
for a dime. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it and put the price right here for you because that's I believe that's nuts. Look, look how beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh my goodness. And it's sealed there too. It's sealed all over the place. And it's not tested on animals. So that was awesome. And then I got this because this is new. This is new. Something new is happening. And this is for me. So I'm just going to open this up. I hope it's soft enough. If not, it'll be my husband's. Um, so it says adult soft charcoal infused toothpaste. A toothbrush imported uh, distributed by Greenbrier I'm getting tired I can't talk anymore oh it feels very soft but look you see the middle you see the middle right there with the like circle heads they're like rubber there are rubber heads in there they never had that before so that I was like very happy so yeah Oh, this is so beautiful. I love aesthetically pleasing things. And this is it. All right, so that's it. Now let's move on to the last category. Woo! <laughs> okay, the last category is going to be crafter square and stationery and stickers and all that stuff. So the first thing is by Floral Craft. These uh wire work wreath how to instructions on the back uh but yeah i got two of those they are 12 inches and they're already you know they have the stuff on there for you already so that you don't have to do it and i'm assuming maybe i'm asking for too much but i was going to say i'm assuming it's pre-measured looks like Looks like it's about pre-measured. Um, but yeah, okay. So I got two of those. Then, while I was at it, I got one each. Now again, this is from the Riverhead store, if you saw my walkthrough. One each of this Flora Craft designed by Simple Style Decorative Mesh, 10 inches by 10 yards. And they had this blue ombre one and this like green to yellow ombre one so i just picked up one each of those sorry sorry for the noise uh then this is also going to a friend i picked up these crafter square little mini baby baby storage containers for one of my friends, four of them, well, four times eight, as well as three of these. These organizer boxes with eight compartments. So I picked her up three of those. Then I got this Aileen's Original Super Gel Multi-Surface Adhesive Bonds in Seconds 0.2 Fluid Ounces I got this by Just Cotton this tiny little, it's so small but it's 104 yards so they had several different color combinations they had a red and green one they had a black and orange one together they had like an eggplant and white but I kept it simple and I got the red and white I figured I'm just going to use this like a baker's twine and this will last me the rest of my life to do like on Christmas presents and stuff I thought it was beautiful so that's what I got that for then I picked up two of these just to have a backup in case something goes wrong or maybe I can match pants to it. But I got two of the iron-on transfers. And I picked the but first coffee one. I was thinking I'm going to like make myself pajamas like a nightgown. and But if I could do an outfit, like one on the leg, one on the chest, I don't know. But I got two of those and that's what the top looks like. I showed the other varieties of that in the walkthrough as well. 
Um, then I picked this up for my friend's package as well. This is the Disney Zoom Zoom 300 stickers. All different ones in there. Yeah. I think she's going to like that. And then this was like laying by the register. This and a, and a quarterly pink one, which was really cute. But this is what I wanted. And I don't know why. When I went into the craft aisle, I didn't find them. But... At least I got one back by the register, and that is fine. It is these. This is what I wanted was the natural color burlap roses. Beautiful. I love it. So I was happy I found the one pack. And then uh, this is from the tool bench section, but it's for crafting. So I got the three rolls of jute, and it's 100 feet each. So this is 300 feet of jute from the tool bench, bench section. And then I got this. I was so happy I found it. I like thought of it and then it took me three stores to find it. So I'm just happy I found it. This is the Jot 315 pack of dot labels. So they're just circles. And I got this, if you saw a couple of hauls ago, I um, bought bamboo skewers for like shish kebab, <laughs> bamboo skewers and... Um, all the different heart chocolate in, in the bag, the Palmers, and I said I was gonna like put them on the bamboo skewers individually and then make my husband like a little bucket bouquet with floral foam. So I was like thinking while I was driving of how to attach that and I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use the dot labels to put over the bamboo skewer on the wrapper of the chocolates on every single one of them and make him a cute little chocolate bouquet. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys how it turns out. And I think the last thing in this entire haul, well, let me just show you one thing. I forgot this in the holiday stuff. I picked up one of these balloon weights. They had pink and they had red. I got, ooh. That's a mess. Um, yeah, so they had pink and they had red. I chose the pink because I just needed like a little more Valentine's stuff. So I thought this was pretty. It's got the hearts in there. I'm just going to, I mean, it's got the balloon hook, obviously, but I'm just going to arrange that and like stick it on one of my tear trays, you know, just as a little extra. So yeah, I forgot to show you that. Uh, but now, this that was a good segue because this is kind of holiday. No, it is holiday, but it's Crafter Square. So, perfect ending. Let me just double check, let me just double check. Sorry for not looking at the camera. Yeah, I think we're good. Very last item in this entire haul. So I purchased a different cross in my last haul. The, these uh, light up LED. But I, I found that I didn't see this the first time. So then I had to get that. That is stunning. So <clears throat> I had to get that. And again, I was thinking Easter. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is not doing a thing to it i love it so that is that guys thank you for um spending like i always say a giant chunk of your life with me today and uh yeah until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you and remember if you have not hit that subscribe button down below make sure you go ahead and do that and if you care about giveaways or winning them and knowing when you win make sure you depress that bell next to it too so you could be notified anytime there's a new video because people don't know <laughs> and it, then it's just a big problem all around so just saying might be something you want to do so again until the next video i'll see you guys all very very soon bye